At Chitante Hill School in Kampala, these senior one students are making history as the pioneers of the newly launched lower level secondary curriculum. In line with the new curriculum, the students were seated in clusters and not in rows as has been the standard. They are also required to put into practice what they have been taught in class. So we have to be very innovative to ensure that learning is being interesting and you are able to get the outcomes of the learner at the end of it all. Uh, we have rolled out the new curriculum today. Uh, as per the guidelines and the request uh, by the Ministry of Education and Sport. Bato has observed the response of the learners to the new curriculum. I think there is still that transition which is taking place in them, but I think with the time they will get used to it. So when they are getting to secondary school, they expect some new things. And uh, adjusting to the new things they find around might not take long. There are, however, some concerns about the new curriculum. Chief among them is the resources required for its implementation. This calls for resource mobilization within and outside the school. It means that we may need like an extra class. It may require change of furniture. It may require even TVs. It may require the whiteboards. The other concern is whether teachers will also adapt to the new curriculum. The change in attitude would have been with the teachers who have been used to the old arrangement, and this one is a new arrangement. Hopefully, if teachers pick it well, like for me, I've picked it, and I've liked the way it is going to be delivered, it is going to transform a lot. The new lower level curriculum has been rolled out in a number of secondary schools across the country amid a protracted battle between the Ministry of Education and Parliament over whether or not this curriculum should actually be implemented. Now what remains to be seen is whether the address of the Minister in charge of Education and Sports, Janet Kadaham Seveni, to Parliament this week will change the circumstances and finally bring the legislators on board. Joyce Nakato, NTV Tonight.